Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reading one star reviews of my uh, some of my favorite books from 2022. Hi everybody, so like I said, I'm going to be reading one star reviews of some of my favorite books from 2022. Um, I think I've just decided I wanted to make this video, um, mainly because, <laughs> mainly because, you know, I'll go through, because you guys know if I'm making a list of something, I can never remember what I'm supposed to remember. So I end up back on Goodreads and I'm like, okay, what was this book about? Like, I obviously really enjoyed it, I liked it, but like, what was it about? And so I end up back on you know, you read the synopsis, you're like, that, isn't, that didn't tell me what it was about when you read the synopsis. So then I go through and start looking at book reviews and I'm like, okay, because people always give spoilers away. They don't realize it because they don't do the spoiler alert, but they always give spoilers away. So I was like, what is it? What is it? So here we go, guys. These are going to be in no particular order. Um, they are going to be, like I said, from books I read last year, but they're also going to be whenever I get to them in... Just a few, because, I mean, I did 12. But there are some I definitely want to uh, look at, some of those one-star reviews. Here we go. So number one, Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma. I gave it five stars. Of course, you can see that in my book reviews. Okay, I really enjoyed this book. Okay, this writing said... This was a month ago. This writing said... Catch me adding cobwebs, no sorry, catch me adding cobwebs to my vagina. This man murdered my libido. I deserve a fucking trophy for finishing this book because as I said, oh my God, I should have opened it up. It's way too long. I'm only going to read partial part of it. Because as I just said, I don't have that ability anymore. <laughs> I can't possibly have had a worse experience. I will say the sexual tension between me and DNFing this book was hot as shit. around and found out so you don't have to I was the shrew we met along the way and have no problem taking one for the team and writing a very angry very negative review this book turned me into the romance hero we deserved I was clenching my jaw and grunting and being generally moody during this entire experience she said this is actually the worst book I've read in a long time Prim is a monster of a character and I cannot believe Karina had to fall in love with him. I feel so bad for her. So, um, this book is definitely fake dating. Like, this book is fake. So she goes on to talk about how, she goes on to talk about how I can't believe she took him back so fast. Um... She said, my one star review is for me fundamentally despising Prim and his fundamental fuckboyness that never improved. Okay, let's just put it this way. Most doctors are fuckboys. Just putting that out there. Their attitude, fuckboy. But, like, he's also trying to open a community shelter, or not a community shelter, a community medical center for their community. And he knows he has to do that by being this persona on TV, no matter if he's not that persona. And then it became fake dating after the trash that went down on his television show. And then the aunties got involved. I think she's got a problem with the fact that he doesn't believe in love. And that's okay. Um, let's go on. It, this one says it's something to do with romance about a girl Karina who's the only likable character in the book despite being immature Prem whose name means love but personality is Havis ha Havis I'm probably saying that wrong Lust and Charlie I've been traumatized okay so where this one says so where shall I begin I'm so sad to do this to a Desi book I was so excited for but sometimes you just can't help it so this one's written by a brown reviewer so I'm gonna read it. 
There is so much I can say about this book and I couldn't bear to read more than half of it. Let's just begin with the Harry Potter reference which could have easily been deleted. It's fucking 2022 and if you're still including Harry Potter references, it's a conscious decision which is unacceptable and has harmful repercussions. Oh, it's just two times? Let it go. I'm not gonna say your name because I don't want to say it wrong. Yeah, no, I won't. It ain't okay and if you don't agree, please feel free to leave. Karina laughed at the, and in quotes, sorry. Karina laughed at the dismayed expression on his face. What? I'm just asking. The board game you're talking about is Harry Potter, right? Oh my God, you poor child. You have no idea, do you? Rahul asked. Harry Potter is for children. It's only a small portion of mythological possibilities. In Dungeons and Dragons, you can literally be any sort of creature. I mean, I get that. The conscious decision to add Harry Potter to it. Um... I, 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 I get that argument. I get that argument. I'm not going to get my opinions on that. Uh. Um, I really don't even remember this, guys. Like, next up is the guy, Prem, calling his dick Charlie. I'm telling you, I do not remember this. <laughs> Which, well, I tried to ignore and move past. Obviously, my brain blanked that shit out. <laughs> Thus, but then he calls it that again and again to the point it becomes unbearable. If you all want some quotes, I shall be happy to provide, but I'm not putting them currently because I don't want to traumatize all of you like I was. Lastly, I wasn't very invested in the book overall. The characters were nice, but the plot and storyline so far was quite mediocre, and I couldn't bring it to in me to continue. There was so much secondhand embarrassment, which had me cringing, and it just wasn't worth it to try and get past it after the things I mentioned above and my lack of investment in what was happening. Unfortunately, I cannot re recommend this book to anyone. Unless, I guess, you liked the love hypothesis because me the game gave me the same vibes. LMAO. Blah, blah, blah. Did I read the love hypothesis? I think so. Allie Hazelwood, right? The Kylo Ren fanfic. Okay. Um, last one. He called his dick Charlie. I'm telling y'all, I do not remember this at all. This man is in his 30s. That's disgusting. I don't think you guys understand that men are disgusting no matter what age they are. <laughs> they don't just stop doing these things because they're no longer 15. Like... <laughs> uh, Y'all be at a fire, fire station for long periods of time. Or just be around men for long periods of time. Like... Men are gross. Ah! Two, I hate Karina's family so much. The way they never listen to her, support her in her job, support her decision becoming an independent woman. That is a big toxic family. That is a big toxic family. And the way her little sis always makes it about her makes me mad. See, but half the point is about her toxic family and the toxic relationships that she's in. So you're supposed to be mad about it. You're supposed to be. Three, mind you that they are in their 30s acting like 15s. Guys, I am in my 30s. I act 12, okay? I am not an adult. Do not try and make me an adult. The fact that I have adult responsibilities still confuses me, okay? But when the drama pops off at work, you better, be you better believe I'm sitting there with my tea and I am watching. Because no one ever grows up. No one. People will still act like teenagers. Don't get all high and mighty. <laughs> Positive side, it very greatly shows the Indian culture. Other than that, the plot is a meh. Sorry. Oh, let's move on to the next book because I really want to go to... Mm, I think I want to go to Lords of Mercy. I either want to go to Lords of Mercy or Flock. Let's go to Lords of Mercy. Royals of Forsyth because if you haven't read books one and two I would skip this and go to whatever next book I decide to do so I'll put a timestamp um this review I don't understand the need for almost 600 pages I genuinely don't remember this being 600 pages I ate this shit up so fast and I read it on my kindle if you read on your kindle you're not holding a book in your hand just waiting just having that weight just bring down your wrist or having to prop it up on a pillow. You don't even realize it's 600 pages because you're not carrying a small baby in your hand. See, that's how you train your mind to just keep going, keep going until it's over with. Then you don't even know. Words of wisdom from India, you're welcome. 
Um, the stalker was obvious since book one. Most of this books, actually, I don't remember who the stalker was. Sorry. The stalker was obvious since book one. Most of this book is sex, and while I like spicy scenes, the sex here left me uncomfortable and woo. I told y'all look up these damn triggers. It was more like performance porn you watch than erotic and sexy. The only thing I liked is how the main dudes finally developed and were a bit better. I liked how they saw her like a queen and were around her like these surrounding the honey. That really isn't like a one star review. But okay, I told y'all look up these these triggers. That book is supposed to make you uncomfortable. The whole shit is uncomfortable, but it's so good. What is the stalker? I'm gonna have to try and remember that. I think this is the last book of this series for me. Can't do it anymore. The first book was all about hum humiliation and her precious virginity. The second, just sex and the boring stalker. And the third, it's just a bunch of sex, sex, and sex. Yeah, that's what we're here for. I wondered how this girl was able to walk, lol. The story got lost. Didn't like the girl and the guys were just possessive and crazy and not in a good way, lol. This is literally what we're here for. This is what we're here for. We're here for the dark, the depravity, the violence, the sex. Last one, cause y'all wanna talk about my voice. This whole series is awful, but I'm proud of myself for finishing it. Killian has no redeeming qualities and I never fully bought that Tristan and Dimitri were in love with her. Killian, yes. The rest of them, no. In real life, Tristan would be the first to leave this harem. I was hoping that at least the epilogue would be good but it wasn't. Story is just an awful character and so are her boys. <laughs> I'm so glad the series is over. Killian liking sex with unconscious woman, women is a no for me. Um, makes me dislike him even more. Wouldn't call it a trigger, but definitely a hard pass for any books going forward. Um, the Brock Turners of the world don't deserve representation. I'm just trying to remember. It's been a while since I've read it. So I'm trying to remember the, the scene. The scene. I think I kind of do. I can see that being uncomfortable. I, I definitely, I, I kind of remember the scene. So like I'm trying to remember leading, leading up to it. Um, because I think if I remember the scene correctly, which I'm not saying I, I do, it was a conscious decision on both people's part to play their roles in this in this sexual escapade I think if I remember the scene correctly if I remember the scene correctly is what I'm saying but I can under I definitely get feeling comfortable with it but still y'all ain't gonna talk about me you know, it's weird because as I'm like going through this, like, you know, the Madison Kate series by Tate James, I didn't give any book five stars, but I love the whole series. Ooh, let's do something random. Um, Allison's Adventures in Underland, Harem of Hearts, number one by C.M. Stooge. Okay, this said, I read the sample. The sample could not bring myself to continue, much less pay for it. The characters have so much potential and yet are poorly, rep poorly represented. The writing level reminds me of someone whose middle school creative writing teacher told them they had potential so they never tried to improve and just pop this thing out. Clearly written by a teenager with lusty dreams, literally. The sample is, I believe, only the first chapter. I have never seen the F word used so much. It's disgusting. Like, like fuck? Like fuck? That word? Which is the F word? It's disgusting. I'm all for curse words having an effect to push the reader to understand impact of words and emotion. This did none of that. I saw it once, a paragraph or more. The author seems to have wanted to just use it like the bored teenager their main character, Allison, is and deigned to see how many times they could get away with writing it. Bro, I use that word so many times in a conversation. So, no. Usually I'm in favor of authors providing new takes on old classics. So much potential. However, the end result makes me want to tell the publisher they should ask for their money back. End result! You didn't read the end result! You read the first chapter! It's three books. <laughs> you read the first chapter! Hmm. This one's 
one's interesting. Quit it at 96%. Now, if I get to 96% of a book, I'm finishing that shit. You're almost done. Why, why did you waste your time? Like 50% DNF, I get that. You don't want to read the other half. Cool, whatever. 96%, you're done with the book. You probably only had five pages left and then it would have been done. I don't know. I don't get it. Yuck. Main character is 18 who parties with her 16 year old sister and is in high school. These are children. What? What do you think children do? What do you think children do? What do you think high schoolers do? Like legitimately, what do you think high schoolers do? Okay. So many dicks on the her <laughs> So many dicks on the horizon, I can't keep up. That's what I'm here for. That is literally why I picked this book up. I struggled c to connect with any of it and often skimmed slash felt bored. Okay, well, you, I mean, you just had a problem with the fact that she was the main, the main female character is 18. She has a younger sister who she went to a high school because went to a high school party with. They're both in high school. And, you know, to watch her. She, the older sister's not a party, the younger sister is. So she went to go protect the younger sister or, you know, be eyes. So I don't know what you think high schoolers do interesting it has and it doesn't has mmm m sorry <laughs> it has and it doesn't has mm it's weird it's like shot in half way to try to please everybody they don't really interact not described at least but there are some speculations made openly never to be denied or confirmed not this first book this this Fist is like what you would have liked if you are into no MM on your reverse harem. Which is fine. I stopped in the middle of the third book. Reached this far out of curiosity since I didn't understand the reviews. It has MM okay, but who with who but who with who? Well now I know why it felt unclear. It's like all is like all of them, even the twins, have some sort of sexual thing you just don't know, never to be denied or confirmed. Okay, I get that. If you're looking for MM, I, I get that. Okay. So it's full of this moments like, are they together? Was this sexual? Are they into each other? Did I interrupt something? Tell me, Duke, do you have a romance with your cat? LOL, this Alice doesn't know what to think about what her men are up to behind her back. Overall, it just... Felt like dishonesty from her guys and from the author. I mean, whatever you choose to write about, embrace. After a moment, the series is just boring. The romance theme takes over the whole series and every every time is like something is happening, but not really. Uh, okay, I mean, I don't really have anything to like say about that. Um, it's like Underland, if I... Wonderland is like the dystopian version of Wonderland. Basically, Wonderland has been corrupted and taken over, and they need the new. They need an Alice to fulfill the prophecy. All I know is they put the Jabberwock in there, and then my choir brain went to the Jabberwock song. And so whatever. Last one. Perhaps I was not the intended audience for this book, but who knows who was? I'm not averse to swearing. Just ask anyone who knows me, lol. <laughs> but this was beyond. It was like it was edited by a want to be cool kid who said, hey, you haven't said fuck enough. You need it in almost every sentence. The author said, oh, okay then. I mean, it was not necessary and just detracted from the whole story. The whole harem style sex thing didn't bother me. It was all a bit meh, to be honest. Why would it bother you? You, you picked up a reverse harem book. Why would it bother you? Crappy, boring characters, and I didn't like any. You didn't like any? Not even the Hatter? I love this craziness. And then, after I decided to persist and didn't DNF it, ended on a cliffhanger. So exactly nothing was resolved. What a waste of my time. That's why it's book one of three. I don't know. I enjoyed it, guys. I enjoyed it. Um... 
I'm gonna do some more of these and maybe I'll look them up ahead of time. You know, I probably won't. I never look up anything ahead of time. So guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to try and do some more, um, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button. Don't forget to follow me on all the social medias and until next time, keep turning the pages.